Hey everyone, today we're going to do a comparison video between the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, my old Note 4 here. It's not really that old, probably a year old now. And um, my new LG V10, okay? So the first part of the video, we are going to do a size comparison, um, like size comparison, design comparison. The next part is the um, screen comparisons and maybe a sound comparisons between the two or maybe during the screen comparisons while we're watching videos you could also you know we can also get a sound comparison on that so let's get this thing started so first off build quality the Note 4 was the first of Samsung's Note lines, not Samsung phones. The Galaxy Alpha was the first Samsung phone to have the aluminum sides. They they started going for more, how should we say, premium materials. So this Note 4 has the uh, chamfered, whatever they call that, <laughs> chamfered uh, aluminum edges right here. Mine, you won't, you can't really tell because I have a uh, a carbon fiber skin from D brands and I'm planning I'll, I'm planning to get a carbon fiber skin for this um LG V10 pretty soon whenever D brand decides to make one or one of the other companies anyways um the note 4 I'll put all the specs and everything in my description was the first of their note lines to have that more premium build with the sides being made out of aluminum the back though was still made out of you know plastic or polycarbonate what you could say to make it look like leather it felt good the default um, back it was pretty soft it actually f kind of felt like real leather and it had good grip to it this back cover right now is that I put in here for this carbon fiber is kind of slippery but it doesn't add any uh, it doesn't attract smudges or fingerprints but getting back to the comparison so this is a 5.7 inch screen diagonally 5.7 it's got an AMOLED you know Samsung Super AMOLED technology with the resolution of 2560 by 1440 so it's a 1440p or 2k screen so it's a, also known as quad HD and um, it's got a 16 megapixel camera right here in the back with your LED flash and a heart rate monitor ultraviolet light monitor here in the back you got your speaker here in the back you've got your USB 2.0 port here your S Pen cutout you got um, I think yeah you have two microphones here I don't know if it's showing up on the camera one here and one here there was a big contra well, I don't know if controversy is the right word a big thing with uh, Verizon when their phones came out that their what is this their microphone hole on this uh, left side if you if the phone is facing up that it was placed a little differently than all the other variants so um, you had to get a different case for your Verizon phones because the other phones um, if it wasn't made for Verizon it would cover up that microphone hole and it would mess up like uh, you could barely hear hear people when you're talking to them uh, on phone calls and stuff like that and then up top here you got your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack you got another microphone I don't know if it's showing up right there and then you've got your remote control IR blaster right here that Sam Samsung Shamsung decided to remove on, on the Note 5 line okay and then on the sides you've got your power button here and that's it and then on the side here you've got your volume rocker up and down volume up and down volume rocker 
the LG V10 also has a 5.7 inch screen diagonally and it also has a 1.2 inch screen up here or strip of screen up here at the top right there that's very customizable where you can put your like I put my name right there and it also has your quick apps right here and whatever contacts you want and things like that okay as you know with all the new LG phones starting from I believe it was the G2 they moved all the um, buttons that were on the sides like on the more traditional phones like here on your note they removed all the buttons from the sides and put them here in the back so here is where all your buttons at for your LG phones on the V10 you have your volume down button here you got your power button and fingerprint scanner here and you got your volume up button here on this part you got your LED flash and also your laser autofocus sensor you got a 16 megapixel camera here and your color spectrum sensor here in the back the back of the case is made out of some kind of silicone plastic material called DuraGuard and here on the sides is where it feels really premium it's made out of 316L stainless steel if you guys want to know about 3L stainless steel I'll, I'll put a link on it on, on the description needless to say stainless steel is more durable than aluminum I mean if you look at knives, swords, armor, surgical equipment they're all made out of steel surgical equipment is made out of 316L stainless steel right here and um, also your watches your more expensive looking watches are made out of stainless 316L stainless steel the, this 316L stainless steel is supposed to be more scratch resistant and corrosion resistant and more durable more than normal steel so LG good job on that part the uh, V10 is going to be thicker than your other phones like your Note 4 or Note 5 because it's made to be more durable it's got a military A10 spec um, durability certification where I believe it's built to just on drops alone it's built to withstand like uh, up to 10 drops from 3 feet away without really incurring any bad damage I'll put another link in the description where Android Authority did a durability like drop test if you guys are interested in that um, okay so oh yeah up top here you have the IR blaster no this is I'm sorry this is the microphone this is the IR blaster right here so good job on LG for deciding to keep that and then on the bottom here is your headphone jack the 3.5 headphone jack your USB port and your bottom facing speaker and another microphone right there so both of these what they have in common that I do like is the ability to um, remove the back cover swap out your batteries and expand your internal storage the uh, Note 4 I believe can take up to 128 or 256 gigabyte SD card micro SD cards the um, LG V10 can take up to 2 terabytes micro SD card right now LG is doing a special up until the 15th or the 17th of November so if you guys are interested you still have a a couple of days left to get the promotion for a free 200 gigabyte micro SD card from SanDisk and also uh, an extra battery and charger so good props on that LG oh I just got my email from LG saying that my uh, request or the uh, promotion has been approved and I have my numbers and everything that 
they're already getting ready to or they're already sending out the SD card and the uh, battery and stuff like that so nice job LG that is greatly appreciated that is champ right there so okay well, let's put the two together you might not notice it here because the stainless steel sides on the uh, V10 are pretty tapered more so than uh, the sides the aluminum sides on Samsung so as you can see right there, there's the power button on Samsung where LG is pretty bare. The LG phone is a little taller and it's a little thicker. Uh, width wise as far as um, width goes, they seem about the same. So here's the bottom view. Here is the another side view. And here is the top view right here. Okay, so that's it for that. So now let's do the screen comparisons. Now the LG does not have a screen protector. I have not bought a screen protector for this yet. And the new case that I got has a built-in screen protector for it. The uh, Beyond Cell Trimax that you guys can also see in this channel. So I don't know if I will buy a screen protector for this. This phone has uh, two layers of Gorilla Glass 4 whereas most of your other premium top-of-the-line smartphones have only one layer of Gorilla Glass 4. By the way, take for what you will but the Samsung does have a screen protector. It's got a Tech 21 impact shield screen protector so I don't know if that will affect the look of the display. I don't think it really will so let's do this I'm gonna unlock the Note 4 and then we're gonna unlock the V10 okay let's make sure now I do not use if you guys know I don't use LG's um or any of my Samsung phones or any other Android phones that I have I've never used a stock launcher I always I've always used a, a third-party launcher from the Android market I'm just making sure we are both on auto so the LG God bless. oops that's a medium or reduced display okay so there you go we're on auto brightness here and we are on auto brightness there for the note 4 so there you go so on auto brightness as you guys can tell the note 4 is just a little bit brighter than the V10 We'll pan in real quick. There you go. Okay. Let's put it on medium brightness. We're going to go manual mode and medium. So there's like medium 50% brightness and um, we're 50% bright on the uh, LG and here you, you get again you can tell um, the Samsung is still a little brighter than the LG. The one thing too with AMOLED displays is the blacks are more black although the LG LCD display is pretty black it's got one of the best uh, blackness and contrast ratios for for your for any LCD displays based on certain testings online but yeah the default their brightness are a little different the um, if once you guys watch the videos you'll see that 
at I uh, at default LG has a more accurate display Samsung not so much but the beauty with the the Samsung displays is you can change the display setting to what you want I think there this the default that I'm on right now is called adaptive display there's also like a neutral or picture display and in a cinematic mode or something like that so which L LG does not have so I wish they did okay now we're gonna go to full brightness and we're probably gonna leave it at that full brightness um, throughout this next few screen comparisons okay so there it is there they are on full brightness let me pan out real quick so the note 5 has the same size screen as both of these um, LG V10 and the Galaxy Note 4 they're, the Note 5, the Note 4, this V10 they're all 1440p or Quad HD displays so you can pretty much say this is how the, the Note 5's uh, screen is gonna look it might be just a little bit more brighter or uh, who knows but it's the same type of display same type of screen this is actually also um, pentile uh, or sub pentile something like that matrix whereas the uh, the um, LG is a IPS LCD or what LG calls their quantum um, display technology okay alright so now <clears throat> we're gonna pull up a YouTube video for both of these so I'm gonna pause it and pull up a video okay we're back so we're gonna first watch one of my YouTube videos sorry if you guys don't like my selection um, we are indoors obviously the lighting conditions here indoors is a uh, medium light I would say and right now as you know both phones are uh, at full brightness these are my old um, holster slash kickstands for my OtterBox Defender Note 3 cases <laughs> So we're going to use them, we're going to put them to use here to, to view these videos, okay? So we're going to play my LG Rinky, v, Rinky Fusion case review for both of them. Hey everyone, oh, great. today we're going to do a review on the Rinky Fusion. Crystal clear case, okay? And I will be unboxing on this. One is a commercial and one is the actual video. Okay, so here we go. Hey everyone, today we're going to do a review on the Rinky Fusion. Okay, so here we go. Crystal clear case, okay. So here it when is. I did Both the of them on this, are on full um, brightness. I don't know if you guys noticed it, but I the protective uh, stickers for the back of the case it's, this and one's inside still on. of the case um, we're still on I don't so know if you guys noticed I didn't it, even remove them but now uh, the protective I, uh, stickers so there you go the back, uh, stickers for the and the inside the are removed as you can see I believe the LG is more color accurate at uh, default uh, the cases uh, because my skin uh, right here back, looks a little yellowish where right side, here on uh, my uh, natural brown color okay let's switch them up and I'm going to show you from another this, angle. Uh, because designing your one, there you go. They give you a few extras. Very cool. You get a so so I'm going to pause right the LG V10 so you guys could also hear the sound the cutout on the Note 4. Right here, designing your self cutout is very, very cool. Now the Note 4 that I'm running is not stock so take that for what you will it's running a custom ROM and it does have enhanced sound capabilities oops what did I do okay do that again so another good thing about these ranking cases is uh, 
Now I'm gonna the form factor, the fit, make sure the volume on the rinky or the the that I've my LG V10 is all the way turned with. up, okay? It also has these little extras like um So the volume is all the way up on this right one. Here. I don't know if my camera's focusing. It is not. Come on. There you go. So those holes I'm gonna right pause the note now. And we're going to listen to the LG. And look at my Note 4 cutouts, so you'll see what I mean. So, another good thing about these rinky cases is uh, the form factor, the fit is very good with all of the phones that so I've So, as you can tell, cases with. this is what I'm talking about. The uh, LG like, uh, is not that loud. Maybe if once I root it and get a custom right ROM here? on there, I can make the speaker louder. So, you, listen to that again. It is not. Here is the note. Here. They are for, you can put a lanyard, um, or whatever you want, like, yeah, a lanyard or a necklace type thing, um, that you... And here's the... Come on, there you go. So those holes right here, they are for, you can put a lanyard, um, Okay. So now we're gonna like, yeah, a lanyard or a play a type UHD thing, video um, that you can hang a use trailer. Why you would want to, but hey, it's there. Okay, features. I'm not gonna knock any type of product for the video test. Features, even if I don't need them. You for know, this next video say, test, to I'm gonna run MX Player. Need them and MX Player right. will be running so on full brightness the also. Thing too is, um, okay. All these rinky cases. They have these little bumpers on every corner of the case. I don't know what's showing okay, up. Okay, so get these things we'll probably, ready. I don't know if my camera's trying to focus on the phone or the Oops. case. Okay, so you have these bumpers right here on every corner. Okay. So go to MX Player. Like I said, both of these, the MX Player on both of these phones are at full brightness settings. Okay. All right, and we're just gonna play my boys, uh, my twins trailer for Hercules. You guys could already tell the difference in sound. Right now the Note 4 is probably overshadowing the sound of the V10. So I'm going to pause the V10 so you guys could listen to the sound. Okay, so there you guys go with that video test with the trailer. That's another HD video or 4K video running in the background. Okay, so that's it for indoors. We are going to check these two phones out outdoors.
and see how they are in bright sunlight and then we'll conclude this comparisons I'm not going to do benchmarks um, I don't believe in benchmarks just because the benchmarks will only tell you the speed of the chipset but as you guys know it, it's also dependent on the software and a lot of these phones now are zippy and fast enough as they are uh, whether you're using a stock launcher or um, a custom or a third party launcher so I'm not going to do any benchmark testing on this if you guys want to know the responsiveness go watch the other videos they both phones are pretty responsive um, maybe the LG might be a little bit more responsive because of the 4 gigs of RAM so watch let's see let's uh, launch um, camera one two three go see why, do, why am I on selfie whoa okie dokie that was not supposed to happen I just dropped it okay but it's fine everything's good all right so like I said they're both pretty responsive there's uh what did i do i keep forgetting i have some of these uh swipe gestures on some of these things and uh i can't see right now through the cameras through this uh, camera right here so they're both pretty good as far as responsiveness goes this is running a custom rom this is stock so I don't want to do any kind of um, speed comparisons on that and also battery wise they're both the same because this is running a custom launcher and uh, or a custom ROM and it's clocked a little higher than stock whereas this is stock and you know the battery size on the LG V10 is 3000 milliamp amperage or whatever the uh, Note 4 has a 3220 milliamp battery so of course stock it's probably gonna last a little bit longer and uh, but the beauty of both of these phones like I said you can remove the back pop out the old battery put in a fresh battery and you're good to go okay so we're gonna go outside and compare the screens outdoors in like bright sunlight Okay guys, here we are outdoors in really bright sunlight. We are in my backyard and um, you can see my shadow. And so right now, um, both phones are at full brightness as you can see or can't see. I can't barely see them on my screen so now I'm gonna put them on auto because I believe they get even brighter on auto brightness more so than on manual okay so here's the Samsung on auto brightness and also the LG Okay. Auto brightness for both. Let's uh, play another video again, the trailer, and see how it looks when you're watching a movie outside. Let's say, like, you're at the beach and you're watching a movie. Yeesh. I just lost it. Where is that? Okay, UHD video. And let me pull up MX Player again.
I can barely see it. Okay, let's see. Alright. Here we go again. Oops. So, what do you guys think? So this is really bright light right here, bright sunlight. Who are you? Can this escape his face? Are you a murderer? Are you a mercenary who turns his back on the innocent? We believe it's you who turns his back on the innocent. We have the same song. Remember the key, you perform. Here is the LG. LG. Samsung, LG, Samsung, okay, I'm going to pause this, and we're going to go in some shade, so we're going to still be outdoors, but we're going to be in a little bit of shade, okay, we're back, so now we are outdoors, but we are in some shade, let's see if it can make a difference, first with the video again, the trailer, So here's the Samsung. Here's the LG. Samsung. LG. screen Samsung Note 4 LG V10 this is full brightness or I'm sorry auto brightness so auto brightness does make a little bit of a difference in bright light bright sunlight but not as much so there you go for the uh, outdoor bright light test we're gonna take it back indoors cuz this is pretty challenging and wrap it up okay so we're back um, that's it hopefully that answers some of your questions <clears throat> on these two uh, top-of-the-line smartphones the Note 4, even though it's a year old, it's still pretty relevant in the game. And uh, if you guys are not after the premium looks of the Note 5 and you don't want to go from not having a removable battery or an SD card, this is still a, a really good phone, especially if you get it rooted and uh, run custom ROMs on this thing. It's still going to be pretty relevant until the next upgrade. Hopefully by then Samsung will have fixed their issues with the um, with the Note 6. So that's it. Hopefully this answers your uh, questions. Uh, that was pretty tough doing that screen comparisons outside. It was so bright. I, I couldn't even see the... I couldn't even see the screen on my uh, camera. So I, I, I don't know if I was getting it right. So we'll find out in a, in a, in a bit when I have to uh, upload these videos. So that's it. They're, once again, now they're on, on uh, auto brightness. 
um, indoors obviously in medium light and uh, like I said I, I don't like doing benchmark tests just because as you know certain companies <coughs> Samsung <coughs> Samsung likes to uh, overclock their CPUs when it when it uh, detects a, a benchmark test I don't know if they still do it now but they used to um, also like I said it, it's depending on the hardware now this is something that I'm gonna have to give props to Apple because Apple even back in the days when they only had well when they only had a single core CPU they were still running pretty fast the UI and everything even though the benchmarks didn't show it the UI and everything was pretty fast and responsive and that's why some people still stick with Apple so um you know it's also dependent on what kind of software you're running on your phone so whatever the software or launcher or anything you might be running on your phone is also going to depend on how fast or responsive your phone is if you have like a hundred apps running at once you know you're not it's not going to be running pretty fast so that's all I'm going to say with uh, speed and responsiveness so that's it hope you guys um, found this video helpful and um, stay tuned I'll probably do more comparisons maybe in the future hopefully get some workout videos in now and uh, that's it thank you guys for watching and have a great day